back to Pets on Parade. Concerned residents hearing faint meows coming from this Phoenix neighborhood storm drain last week. Turns out there was a little kitty trapped down there, and our emergency animal medical technicians were safely able to rescue the little guy. And here he is today, appropriately named Dr. Drain. Uh, Denise, tell us about this cutie. Well, this little guy has had a busy couple weeks, so he's a little, I think, overwhelmed right now. Um, and that's what his profile said, but actually he's one of the more calm animals in the studio today. He's very content. This is his special his blanket that came out of his carrier. He curls right up here. He's laying here, and he has a very soft, sweet purr. So I think he's going to want a home that's a little bit on the quiet side with some fluffy blankets and a nice window for him to look out of. And he's also going to want his family to keep him indoors so he can keep himself out of trouble. Mischievous little one he is. All right, check out this adorable duo up next. We have Bunsen and Beaker. They are best friends and they know each other as well as a married couple. The is joining us, uh, one of their best friends at the shelter adoptions on our adoptions team. And we'd hate to see these two broken up. So, Vanessa, we're hoping that someone will take them both. Tell us all about them. Well, these two are two of my favorites right now currently in the shelter. They both have some spunky personalities. This guy is really sweet, and he'll do all these tricks. Sit. Sit. Oh, he sees that the treats. And shake. Good boy. And he just gets all the treats because he's super cute. Um, they love to give kisses. They love to snuggle. They'll do all the obstacle courses that we have out in our yards at um, back at campus. Um, they're super sweet. They like baths. They like people. They like to meet new people. They can take a little time to warm up, so give them a chance. But I think they'd make great family members once um, the right family comes around for them. What would be the right uh, home for them? Do they Are they good apartment dogs? Are they... I think they could do well anywhere, honestly, as long as they get their regular walks every day. They like to go out and exercise. They love to run around at the park that we have. But they would be good in any kind of house. Um, I think older children would be best for them. And of course, they got to stay together. They're very food motivated, and they'll learn treats, but uh, tricks. But I think that um, they'd be well suited for a house with some older children. But they still have a lot of energy left, um, so they still need to uh, have exercise. And regular exercise is great for these little guys. Well, they are an adorable duo. Thanks for bringing them on the show today. Hopefully, we can find them a home that will welcome them both. Uh, agility for Fun is coming up. It's perfect for those who are looking to have some fun and exercise their dog without competing. It's a four-week class, and your dogs will learn the course on a variety of equipment, jumps, weave pulls, A-frames, tables, uh, the dog walk, you name it, even a teeter equipment and tunnel. So dogs should have basic knowledge of sit down and stay, and you can register your dog at azhumane.org. We wrap up the show today with an adorable critter friend, a bunny is joining us today. Ski, tell us about Percy. Percy, we saved the best for last because this little guy is just <laughs> so cute. As you can see, he could be a Groucho Marx impersonator with that mustache that he's got going on there. This little guy is about two years old and if you I've been interested in a rabbit. He's super cuddly. He wants to be in your lap. They do need proper hutch to live in. They do need proper time out. They are litter box trainable. They are trick trainable. They are as clean as cats, smart as cats and dogs, and really are just a quiet, perfect pet for children, for adults who are busy and don't want to have to go walk their dog or, you know, clean out a litter box with cat poop. But this little, this little guy just wants to be in your lap and loved on, so come on down and adopt Percy today. All right, for more information about the pets on today's show, visit our website. It's azhumane.org. We'll call the number right there on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with more adoptable pets.